Hi guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. That is my dog here in the background. We are just running around in the backyard and he is a little panty panty, so just bear with the noise. Pretend it's, uh, I don't know, Darth Vader hanging out in the background. Who the hell knows? So how are you guys? Uh, for those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. Uh, for those of you that are returning, then welcome back. For those of you that support me on, over on the Patreon page, thank you so very much. Your subscriptions mean everything. Uh, so today is the forecast for Wednesday, August 5th. This is a timeless message, so it's available to you whenever you find it. If you're looking at it on a day that's not August 5th, you don't have to turn it off. It is for the highest good for the greater collective. Therefore, I believe that it finds you when it's supposed to. All right, so we are building from our regular viewers. We are building on the energy of the cards that we've been seeing all this week. And let's see what's going on. What could be happening to us today, or what can we harness, what can we use to our advantage, or be aware of, to help us to sort of better navigate sort of the world that we live in, the environment that we have going on around us. That's the whole purpose of this daily forecast. So I hope that it gives people insight and guidance, validation. Um, it is a broad spectrum reading, therefore, for the high, uh, you know, the greater collective, so therefore... Um, it, you know, should fit, but if it doesn't, that's okay. It doesn't mean anything's wrong. You can feel free to, you know, utilize the information in however you see fit. That is your responsibility. And, um, let's get into it. All right. So Wednesday the 5th. Now, usually Wednesdays kind of signify the turning point. Uh, if we're not sort of turned from the second card on Sunday, from the first to the second card on Sunday, you know, that's usually safe that we're at the midweek by that point. Our midweek card was that Knight of Pentacles energy. Remember, we're shifting from that higher-minded um, Queen of Swords energy into this Knight of Pentacles. Um, so let's see if that still holds true. Okay. All right, so we have the Sun. I like this card. This card uh, is Leonine energy. We are in Leo season, right? So this is definitely... Um, in line with sort of what's going on. It's kind of also sort of a theme that I saw in a lot of the readings for the month of August. Those taroscopes are up for your signs. Uh, the sun, obviously the sign of Leo. Major Arcana, usually a big signifier in, um, uh, it carries a little bit more information, a little bit more oomph, a little bit more lesson, a little bit more vitality. To me, the sun is all about energy and vitality. That sort of um, idea of uh, positivity, light being shined on a situation. When we look at this crow, he's carrying, it looks to be like a red cloth in his mouth, right? To me, it kind of almost looks like threads in some weird way. I don't know why I'm interpreting it as threads, but it almost looks like he's carrying a bunch of red threads together. He's pulling everything together and setting it in front of the light of the sun. With this horse, let me put the dog out. Do you want to go out in the hallway maybe and pant? Would you like to do that? Maybe? It's up to you, but like sitting here and heavy breathing in the background, it's just a little odd. Um, so it feels like he's harnessing all of these threads and bringing them together and putting them in sort of the light of the sun to kind of hopefully shed light and energize what it is that he does want, if that makes any sense. Um, I like the white horse too. The horse is a symbol of like personal power in my book and it, it feels like this horse is ready to move forward into the future. <clears throat> We do have the slowness of the Knight of Pentacles underneath, but I do like that we have this horse image imagery in the sun card, which is not necessarily, to me, a traditional sun um, piece of art, but uh, it does mean that, like, there's this, uh, this is sort of that Knight of Pentacles energy, right? Knights being on horses. Um, it speaks to this idea of kind of energizing what it is we want, focusing positively on what it is we want to sort of uh, bring forward with us. Uh, the sunflowers are definitely symbols of like positivity, growth, um, opportunity, abundance even. So to me, there is uh, definitely an affirmation of the possibility of creation or at least getting those wheels in motion today, energizing them, getting excited about them. Is there a small... No, that's a birch tree. It looks like there's a small dog hidden down here. Did you see that? It's like a face in the tree. I don't know if I'm meant to do that. Maybe that was a precursor to the wise dog. You see that? Looks like a little dog hiding down there. Anyways, um, so 
I feel like uh, this is a beautiful card to have today. It's definitely a respite from yesterday's Five of Swords if any of us were struggling mentally. Uh, the sun brings about clarity. It brings about affirmation and positivity. And it sort of sets us on fire or, um, and I mean that in a good way. <laughs> It sets us on fire to start to take the steps to move forward. This horse isn't in like full board trot mode, so that is the maybe the slowness of the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, there is a steadiness and a dedication with that card coupled with this sun. I actually feel like they're a nice balance. The sun gives us the energy and the wherewithal, the the possibility, right, to dwell in that possibility to start to take the steps, even if they may feel slow, beleaguered, or challenging, right? The sun gives us that opportunity to sort of rise to the challenge. Uh, that's the feeling that I get when I look at this card. Remember, our stone for the week is vision, right? So we're supposed to be holding this vision this week of what it is we want and, and not necessarily how to go about getting it, but just being open to how it may feel to have that, right? As we do that, that I think that the sun will shed light on what paths and, and opportunities there are to take to get, kind of guide us or get us there. That's sort of what I feel like when I see this crow with this fabric in his mouth. To me, this feels like a bunch of different threads that he's pulling together from the past, and kind of bringing them into the present, shining a light on them and deciding what to take with him into the future. Does that make sense? Um, I hope you guys see that too. Um, let me see what we have going on in... Okay, I'm going to take that as the cut. Only two cards fell out on the cut. Interesting. This is mountains. Stand your ground. So when I look at this, the first message that I honestly get from this is um, this mountain range that we see here, right? Although it might be a struggle or it might have been some work, it's also grounded equally down below, right? It's just as much as like what we see above ground or what we see, we have just as much strength like hidden or within. Does that make sense? That's this lower mountain range that goes down towards the ground. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. When it says stand your ground, it makes me think a little bit about sort of that, um, that Five of Swords energy we saw yesterday, right? And even the Queen of Swords that is in the early part of the week. What are we clear on, guys? Like, what um, aspects of ourselves do we really know to be true? What beliefs, what things are we um, uh, need to sort of, like, almost ground in and affirm for ourselves? That kind of feels like this mountain card to me. Mountains are usually immovable, right? They're strong. They just sort of are. They know what they are. They ground in that and they can be um, uh, uh, powerful just in, in their very essence, right? And so when I look at this mountain, it's to me it feels like we're being told to sort of like shine a light on who we are through the sun card and then ground in this, uh, the strength of this, right? Uh, standing your ground or staying true to yourself is really kind of key today. The sun is going to shed that light and give you the energy to do so. The mountains are going to give you that strength and that steady steadiness. That's also very, now that I think about it, the mountain uh, card also speaks to that steadiness of that knight of pentacles underneath, right? Um, that dedication that the knight of pentacles carries with him. The opportunity to move, even if it is slowly, but we move towards our goals. We move towards, we move through the challenges. That could be also the mountain range too. Some of us that might be experiencing challenges, we move through them in a, in a way, looking at them as if, as if they are uh, blessings rather than curses, right? They give us an opportunity for growth. They give us an opportunity to learn. They give us an opportunity to kind of access other parts of ourselves that, um, you know, we can sometimes be surprised by, or um, uh, we can learn, you know, uh, strengths about strengths or um, uh, capabilities that we didn't know that we had, right? So I feel like today is an overall, like these two cards together feel like a very um, empowered day. Uh, some of us might need to hold tight to, to me, when I look at this mountains card too, the idea of standing your ground, some of us might need to hold that tight to what we know to be right, but not necessarily outwardly fight with it. You know, even though the sun card is a sort of active card in, in, in its movement forward and its shining brightness, to me, there's a positivity to the sun that we want to keep hold of today. The mountains speaks about, for those of you that might be, you know, stuck in a situation where you're arguing or struggling with something, the mountains are, just are. They don't necessarily have to force anything to their way of thought. They don't have to. Um, and that's also, that again, that Knight of Pentacles energy, that more slow, methodical 
less like kind of getting in and arguing or fighting with people. It's just sort of allowing things to be that as they are and just working slowly towards our goal. All right, so let's look at the sun. We're going to read the story of the sun and then we will read um, uh, mountains really quick. Let me see here. The sun. A crow stands fearlessly on the back of a glistening white horse with her wings reaching outward in freedom. She is open to the radiant energy of the sun as it illuminates her soul and brings success to all wishes, all she wishes to accomplish. She comes to you with the message that luck is on your side and you will soon be, soon feel the brightness and warmth of the sun as well. Bask in all the potential that you have entering into your life at this time and allow this energy to raise your frequency. Now it's interesting too, we're also going into this Leo, um, uh, Lion's Gate, and so I love that we have the card representing Leo happening today, also after last night's full moon, or actually, you guys are going to see this tomorrow, so um, it will be the full moon from two nights ago, right? I take this a day ahead of time, so um, last night was the full moon, so this uh, sun card comes at a really beautiful time to kind of move us forward in this Leo energy, this Leo season energy of productivity and opportunity. So let me look for mountains really quick. It's 128. So mountains. Hold firm to what you believe in or are focusing on because it's absolutely right. Know that heaven and earth are supporting you. Mountains are strong and wise. They're rooted deep in the earth and reach high into the sky. They have been where they are for thousands of years. They have been home to animals. They have been climbed by humans and they have, been, uh, they have seen seasons come and go. No matter what has happened to them, they have remained strong and movable and unshakable and they offer the spiritual energies of strength and resilience. Mountain energy is, a powerful, is powerful because it's firmly rooted in the Great Mother and reaches high to the Great Father. If you're feeling challenged or pressured at this time, know that your spirit is more powerful than you think. You are resilient and grounded and the energy and air of the mountain and the energy and air of the mountains is giving you the unshakable strength to be who you are. Take time to root yourself deeply in the energy of the earth before welcoming in the energies of heaven. If you're not sure what you need to do next, the mountain card invites you to stay exactly where you are talk things over with those around you and know that change will come to you. You will be whole and well at the end of this current situation and it will not stand in the way of your future growth and expansion. So no worries, definitely. This mountain, there's also a piece to this mountain part. It's kind of the sense that I'm getting. Let's see what the grounding stone is. Okay, I love it. And this grounding stone looks like a little upside down heart or a mountain to me. This is courage. So the courage to sort of stand in our truth, the courage to let the light of the sun sort of energize us in our desires, um, the belief in the affirmation of the sun card and the strength that this mountain card represents. Do we have the courage to sort of stand in that and trust that today? Not necessarily need to force that upon others or challenge others with that, but just to allow it to be, right? That's sort of what I'm seeing with this courage stone. Remember, you know, holding the vision too, that's shown from the, through the entirety of the week, that takes courage, right? That desire, to live in that desire of what we want and to sort of continue to pursue it even if we feel like things are in our way or not necessarily um, helping, uh, that takes courage. Uh, so hold on to that, ground in that today, ground in your strength, um, ground in your belief. Allow that to be an affirmative sort of um, uh, uh, energy that you experience today and let it sort of bring you forward even if it's slowly right that's okay it's still we're still moving forwards we're still making strides so that is your forecast for the day thank you so much for tuning in i love you guys please tune in tomorrow please like share comment subscribe and i will see you soon take care bye